Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about the properties docker. So when you've got a text and, or font written out, you can change the font, the type of font, you can change the size, you can make, if it's a boldable font, you can make it boldable, italics, underlined, or justified horizontal alignment. Uh, you can actually, you know, change the text and you know completely and it's called the text editor um, but this right here a lot of people don't even know it's there text property it's the same thing it's under your property bar under text property but right here is the same key it's opening up your text property so this I'm trying to keep this video short but what it can do if if the font is underlinable and you use the underline here, you just get one choice, it just underlines. But if you go to the docker and pick underline, it gives you a bunch of options. Single thin line, single thin word. Let's go with double thin word. So it breaks up the words. It doesn't have a line all the way across the word. Let's back up here and go single thick, double thin. So it underlines the whole thing. There's a lot more information and, and things you can do in this particular underneath the Docker window that's up in your menu. So those are some things to look at because that would look pretty cool to have double underline. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.